we're going. Hey guys, Jeff with Wesco Design. So we're here Thursday at SEMA. Um, been here all week, so it's Monday, or actually Tuesday. But we uh, got the Sequoia here, and uh, just gonna go over some things, show Zach uh, on some things, how they work, and why we did what we did, and just some little detailed things that a lot of people obviously don't know about. So, uh, the HR back, obviously, not for just me across the back here. We've also done the brake lights, and then also the um, backup lights here. And then we also did the bumper sensors as well, just for safety. Um, one of the things here, uh, the gas cans, obviously we did them to match the colors, and then on top of that, we just kind of wanted to tie in with Toyota, that let's go places kind of thing. So, this is all the detail that you guys... Little details, you know, little things that we did that we felt like that, just of those little touches and stuff like that, that, you know, kind of people like to see, and we, you know, just touch on that. And then why this color? Um, so... Back in 84, this was actually a factory production color scheme for these jet skis. So that was kind of why we decided to use this or start with this as a base. And so really everything was built around these colors and transferred onto the car. So it wasn't like the car that we decided to do these skis on here. It was all it was back with the base of the ski and the car. And that's the important Yeah, right? So, uh, and then kind of just show you how this thing opens. The box in here. Flips open here. It was so awkward. It was so fucking awkward. Yeah. So, Jeff, is this how you would you would back this down to the water? Yeah, so it kind of was designed so, like, when this is flipped out, and then I basically, the, the arm is offset here, and that arm is offset, so basically, when you're looking out the mirror, when you're backing this into the water, you can see where you're going. And then this drops down and pops off, so literally it just backs right into water. Um, and then obviously, it still has tilt capability. Um, this needs an extension, right? Yeah, you can use an extension in here. We did all ball bearings in here and stuff like that, so like wheel bearings, so they're super smooth and a whole lot of weight. And then this thing swings out on the side here. Like that, locks in like that. And really, if you stand on the side of the car, you look at the paint scheme with the striping and <clears throat> stripes off the cars, it literally kind of flows from the car to the jet ski. That's kind of really the design behind it. So. Um, as far as like, so we have the side exit exhaust right here on the side, and the exhaust used to come out the back here. Where it used to come out in the back here, we have this car next to it, and I'll show you with that with you on how it was from the factory. So, see over here, the exhaust exited down here on the back. And literally that cutout right there was still in the back of the car. And so I was like, hey, we need to do something with that cutout. So we decided to fill that cutout with a step. And that step literally pulls out at the bottom. We designed all that so it would drop out. And then obviously tried to tie some of the coloring in on that. And that obviously makes it, when the rack's not on there, to access the ladder. Especially yeah. for smaller, yeah. smaller yeah. people. Yeah. Step up that right up on the ladder and stuff. So, um, can, you feel, can you feel the, I mean, this is so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of looks like it was designed there like it was supposed to be there. And when I talk about like design and maybe that could be a factory thing, same with the TRD riding across the back here. Like this is not factory. We literally took a bedside of a 2020 Tundra, cut it out, and then French this into the back of the door. So it literally makes you look at it and say, did it come like that from the factory? And you're kind of not sure. Well, we didn't. So we did that. Uh, this was done in a uh, just a texture finish originally, but we thought it needed to be gloss black to tie into the tail lights and some of the moldings and stuff around the car. This was originally chrome here and blue in here, and we wanted it black and then tie some red into it to just kind of tie the red into some of the other features. Yeah, 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 exactly, tie yeah. all in. And Toyota with their uh, trucks, the Tundras now, they have like, they call them Easter eggs, like different hidden treasures. So we kind of did that in the same thing here, and I'll start by showing you where they are and how they went along. So everything is right angles on this, triangles. And so basically with the triangle here, we designed that to have the triangle in over here and the exhaust piece right here. So you can see all the triangles in here, which then we took the triangles from there and we transferred them all the way up in here to the roof rack, so the triangles are into here, which then we transferred the triangles up into here on, on this kind of stuff. So we really wanted to 
have different little things that are like the little details and stuff like that. And obviously, we've put our bottle openers on everything. We just decided, in this case, we wanted to do machine aluminum bottle openers that were all hard anodized to match the, all the bead rings. The bottle opener here, uh, hard anodized as well. That's all machine aluminum. And to get into some of the detail things, like just attention to detail, would be like the rock sliders, they match the end of the lining of the fender right here in the back side. And then up in the front side, you can see it's just straight down. And then in the front side, we match the radius of the front lower part here, to just of the body line, to make sure that like that stuff matched on there. So, um, these fenders were originally uh, textured. Um, they actually were like a chemo finish. What we did is we painted them gloss to match all the windows and then the bottom of the mirrors. Um, so these actually were textured uh, mirror caps. So what we did is we did white mirror caps with the gloss bottoms so we could tie everything in so everything kind of ties together a little bit cleaner. Um, one of the coolest things that people don't even know is it has the R in here on the TRD. We actually tied that in to the front here. If you look down on the tow hook, that's the bend of the R there into the front of the tow hook. So, and that tow hook, it looks like it was molded into the bumper. Whoop, was molded into the bumper here. And basically what we did is where the fog light buckets were located, we did is designed it so it looks like it was factory on that. So, and there again, hard anodized billet machine tow hooks we did so and we, we made all the light brackets for this and we've partnered with rigid industries and so we've obviously done all of rigid's lighting here and the grill and everything and then we've got our new ditch light brackets that are really low profile they're gusseted so they'll hold those lights those lights are like six pounds they're all gps sensor so they all uh, work on speed for distance on how far out they at fast you drive the farther out they display so we wanted to make sure that those brackets were built strong enough to support those. So, and then one of the things, if you kind of look through the hood, you can actually see the TRD is stamped here in the middle of the hood. So, just super lightly on there. And then again, we tied the colors in here and then flowed them up through the GFC uh, camper on the top. So, and then bridge and lighting there. So, and the truck has two different themes. So. One side is all done in black oxide coated with the polished wheel. And then, so you can see like the black bolts around the wheel ring. You can see all the black bolts on the roof rack. We did that. And then on the other side, we did a red wheel and with all polished hardware. That's really to just accent two different looks of the vehicle for customers. So they kind of pick, up, uh, pick out what their look is. But this one has all the seamless hardware with the red wheel. So all the red seamless hardware goes through top so and there again we did the rock slider on this side we did this at 20 degrees so people could see a 20 degree rock slider versus a zero degree rock slider and you could see that we radius it again and matched the lines in the back and we did we put our name on it back here a little badge on it just so people knew who made it so yeah um, but really you know the, the project came out really good and uh, we got a lot of really good feedback with it and you know we hope people enjoyed seeing it as much as we did and the people with Toyota Corporation really seemed to like it. They came out to look at it, crawl underneath it, and see how things were built, made, and stuff like that. But, how long does it build to? Uh, so we had this car. We got this car October second. Um, Toyota had lent us a car a week before, um, so we had that a week before. So really, in five weeks, we designed everything, built everything on this car, and yeah. ended up with it. So, so, yeah. to SEMA on this last Friday so the Toyota could photograph the vehicle and Saturday they uh, gave it back to us and we brought it over here to deliver it to them and then basically uh, I can tell you I spent most of the day and then on Sunday trying to recover from all the chaos from the last four or five weeks so it was kind of a whirlwind but uh, and then we ran 37s we were able to get 37s on this truck um, which uh, this is actually Nitto's new tire it's called a Recon Grappler um, and they wanted it, us to run it on the truck just so we could share it. Yeah. And with that, we they do run a true 37 on this. Um, this actually, we uh, did, we ran camber's upper arms on this. It's the suspension, it's got all the factory box suspension in it. And with the 
factory box that has our collar to push the lift in the truck, and then it runs an old man you know, rear spring in it to offset for some of the weight, and then it runs our, our pocket back as well. Um, and then Cambridge upper arms here, when we get their lower links in the back, uh, their machine lower links, and then basically up here in the front, we did the trim back with the safety mount uh, about one inch, and then replated it. And then we also ran our fender liner brackets to pull the liners back on the truck so we could clear the 37s and not have to worry about any rubbing and stuff like that. Yeah, no performance so, issues. No, yeah, no. Great. Yeah, no. So it's, uh, it doesn't rub at all and it lines great and the truck actually rides really good. So, I mean, the whole thing, we could be more happy with the way it turned out. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, when you yeah, I mean, you look at how that truck sits and how high it is. Yeah, so. See basically where this thing comes up to almost my shoulder. Yeah. So this is three inches of headlock, and then we're uh, basically one and a half on the back. So uh, it's an offset from jet ski. So when you look at that, it comes up, you know, just uh, the stomach area, like right over here. You can see the difference, it's just it's dramatic. So it's just like a beast now. So, but, uh, you know, it's been, it's been great that, that Toyota has allowed us to be here with them. Uh, to display the vehicle and uh, yeah, more happy.